Hi guys. Uh, sorry about the strong sunlight and shadows. I suppose we ought to be happy that it's sunshine again and we haven't got the rain making a noise in the background. Okay, showed you this just now. I picked it up in charity shop, 99 pence. And the only reason I bought it is I want the wheels for one of my other projects. It is one of those ones that's got a friction flywheel motor in it. So it does work perfectly all right. But I was looking at it thinking they're nice rubbery tires. They're not really soft rubber, but they're um, they're rubber. So I'm going to take it apart, pinch the wheels off it and use them on one of my other projects. So in taking it off, we can do a tear down. If I can see where things go. And this ought to unclip, but it doesn't want to come off for some reason. I think it's been put on the wrong way round, because I would have thought those would have been at the back, not the front. At the moment, they're at the front. Well, it makes it front wheel drive, I suppose. But somehow... Ah, there we go. Yeah, I reckon that's supposed to be that way around. That would make sense. Yeah, that goes in there, that goes in there. So it's on the wrong way round. Screw hole. Screw. I think whatever we do, we've got to get the wheels off to separate the sides anyway. Whether that will come off with brute force, we'll find out. I will try and pull it off with brute force off screen. Just a side thought. I could just take the wheels off and print my own, um, take the tyres off and print my own wheels. But I will try and get these off. Well, that one came off with a bit of brute force. We've just got a bit of cross hatching on there to grip them. I expect they're pushed on, they might even be glued. But that one came off all right. We'll carry on with the others. There we go, that one not so bad. Why is it always the wrong side that comes off? Because to get to the screws, we need the other side off. Or can we reach? Oh yeah, we can reach. Oh, there's no uh, manufacturer's name on here, as far as I can see. come off easily enough so same gear on both axles an intermediate gear which looks like it's snapped off of just there that's a plastic hub should be on there that's our flywheel with a gear on it so you wind it up, that stores energy in the flywheel. That has actually got a, a ratchet effect there, or a clutch. So one way it grips, the other way it slips over. Can you see that? It's got little teeth in there. Oh, 
Oh, let's try and go close up. Right, so we can see that tooth. If we go that way, it slips over. If we try and turn it the other way, it digs in. So it's, call it either a clutch or a ratchet. That little spring is the thing that holds it in place and gives it a bit of, it can actually move. And then that, goes in there and drives those two gears and those two gears drive the next one which would be there except that one's broken off and then that one the inner one is the one that drives these so we've got some nice gears to add to my collection of gears. Probably need to save that axle if I want to use these wheels. Those would be handy little um, bearing surfaces as well, so I might save them. Oh, I left it. <sighs> right, I've just put the gearbox back together so we can see how the gears work. I haven't put the shafts back in place. Well, mainly because they're in this, this side. Those little shafts there or pivots should be going through the holes there. Anyway, so To wind the flywheel up or speed it up, obviously we push the car forwards. That would turn that gear goes onto there. That gear goes onto there. And that gear is the one that actually spins the flywheel up. And then when you let the car go, because the flywheel is spinning, that gear turns that gear, that gear turns that gear, that gear turns that gear, which turns the wheels. And the same going the other way. So it's actually four wheel drive. I was saying I thought it was only rear wheel drive and that was because one of those gears, the pillar it was on, or axle or pivot, had broken off up there. That should be on there. So it's broken anyway. But I've got a nice collection of gears there to add to my selection of gears. I threw that away. I threw that away. I can't think that I want that body shelf or anything. And I'll see if I can get these off here so I can use the wheels. Those might be handy bearing surfaces for my 3D design. I'm just thinking whether to actually make it a geared design. Drop the gears down a bit. Make it more powerful, more torque. Hmm, that's a thought. I'll think about that. Just to get the other wheels off, a bit of brute force. There we go. So We've got axles, we've got nice little bearings, and we've got gears, and we've got wheels. So that might be useful for the project that I'm working on. Thanks for watching. 
you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.